Welcome back. I'm Ashley Johnson for This Week at GSU, here with Art Director Jeff Stevenson. This is a continuation of our Conversations with Leaders series, where we talk with university officials about their role and vision for GSU. Jeff, welcome, and thanks for joining me today. Thank you. It's good to be here. Okay. Now, the Visual Arts Gallery isn't the only place that students can view art. Where else on campus can they see some art? It feels like it's just about everywhere at this point. <laughs> yeah. Um, the Art on Campus series actually got started with the president because when she first arrived, she wanted artwork, student artwork, in her conference room. And so that sort of got the ball rolling. And then we identified once the renovation was done in the D main entrance, there was a request there. Can we put student artwork up here? And then once people see artwork up on somebody else's walls, then everybody's like, well, we want artwork too, and let's put it here and let's put it there. Um, the Student Commons is the most recent area. Um, art Forum, the Student Art Club, actually is doing the shows up in that space. Uh, we have a conference room in our marketing office. Uh, the corridor to e-lounge has an art display there as well. So it, it's just about everywhere. The library, there's a new space there too. Yeah, everywhere you go there's art. <laughs> How are the exhibits for the gallery chosen for the Visual Arts Gallery? Well, the Visual Arts Gallery has some longstanding traditions, and of course our student shows get priority. Um, and then we have this rotating um, series, which is called The Ways of Making, and we're trying to focus on things that we teach in our art program, and then bringing in professional artists that are masters in that particular area, and doing exhibits of their work to inspire our students and give them another way of looking at what they're doing here in school. Um, and then in terms of the art on campus portion of it, uh, it's a new program, and so we're trying to find ways to connect it to other initiatives around campus, like the themes that we have going on for mm -hmm. Women's History Month, we did one around that, um, Black History Month, the Gay Straight Alliance is doing one for LGBT History Month, and that kind of thing. And I'm looking for more connections with more people on campus, so I want ideas to come my way for those kinds of exhibits. Well, hopefully they will. <laughs> I hope so. Why do you think it's important to surround students with art at this university, other universities? Well, I, you know, I'm biased because I'm an artist and I'm a very visual person, but I think we all are really. We live in a very visual world and we're bombarded by advertisements and screens everywhere with images and messages coming at us. And particularly these art, uh, the rotating art shows, I think it's a way to sort of shift people's um, and, and, and wake people up a little bit and say, what's going on and what am I seeing here? And artists um, often are charging themselves with the responsibility to make people ask questions. And I think that that's good, especially in an institution of higher learning. Right. And how do you decide the location of each exhibit? You know, I know the LGBT, as soon as you walk in, it's all over the walls. How do you choose where things go? Well, that particular exhibit is in both of the, the E corridor, the E lounge corridor, and the atrium main entrance. Um, often it's a very uh, practical matter because of the size of the artwork. Okay. The hanging system that we have is restrictive in some ways. Um, I've got a couple of pedestals that have covers on them that we have 3D work, some ceramic pieces in the e-lounge oh, corridor. Cool. So some of it is just really practical in that sense. Um, and, and that exhibit is in both of those locations because um, one of the goals from Student Life and from the Gay Straight Alliance was to really create a presence of this particular topic on campus during this month so that people were thinking about it and understanding that it was happening. I think they've done that successfully. I think so. Definitely. All right, well, thank you so much, Jeff, for being here. That's all the time we have for today. Remember to like This Week at GSU on Facebook and follow us on Instagram and Twitter. For This Week at GSU, I'm Ashley Johnson, and you have just been twagged.